What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Crash Bandicoot. We're back, and we're about to start the final boss fight of the game. The first portion of our playthrough will be completed in this video. How does that make you guys feel? Let me know down in the comments. But we still got a lot of work to do after this boss fight, so let's get into it. Don't know if this will take the whole video. It might, because I'm literal trash. But... Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We're on a blimp, dude. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. That's my son C. Bizzle right there. All right, so you got to avoid, like, the, the pink ones and the green ones. You can spin back at them. And it seems simple enough, but it gets a lot more difficult. Oh, yeah, and then the blue ones will come back across the screen at some point. Like that. And then like this. And then you got to... Okay. It gets much more difficult, so. The first two are kind of like gimmies. Because then the blue ones start doing some crazy stuff like that. Yep. There it is. Every single time I do this boss fight, I end up having to dot like, the only way I end up being able to do it, excuse the voice crack, the only way I end up being able to do it is if I die enough times to get a double tiki. And even then, I still barely do it. So the, the easy ones are out of the way now. Oh boy, okay. These two, if you kind of just stand dead center, you're fine. But then the last one's like off a little bit. Because then you gotta do that, okay. There we go, not bad. The last two, if I remember, are in, like, absurdly difficult. Oh! Oh! Okay, yeah. Was not ready for that one. Actually, I, the last two might not... Might, I don't remember, man. I don't... I don't remember. Okay. So that's that. The second one is when we introduce the blue ones a little bit. But they just go bottom and top, like this, and then that, and then all over here. And then the third one is like the super crazy one. I'm calling bullshit on that one. Yes, I am. Another tip that I like to try to do is I like to, the first thing I like to do, I don't know if it actually helps or if it's just a placebo, but I like to move myself as far back on the blimp as I can go. Because I feel like it might give me some extra time before these things hit me. At least the ones that come from, like, straight forward. There we go. Right. The third one is the one that I always screw up on. Alright. This is the one where they go like this, and then like that, and then that one goes like that, and then that one goes like that, and then this one goes like that, okay. And this one, he just straight rapid fires at you. No, dude! Oh my god, I'm complete trash, dude. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. <sighs> I swear, hitboxes are square on things that are on objects that are circular and vice versa. Like it's so dumb. Or at least the hitboxes are way too big on certain things, like like look at that! I'm clearing that by a mile, dude. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, 
Uh, this Tiki should help. Voice cracks again. Oh! Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Really? I'm just gonna let him kill me because that was complete bullshit. This is where I'm gonna lose a majority of my lives, honestly. We're already five minutes in and we've seen a rather low success rate, so. I haven't even been able to get him down to the last bar yet in five minutes, so. Damn it, I wasn't paying attention again. Well, I'm screwed, but we'll see what we can do. Alright, the third one is when he gets fucking insane. Okay, so the first one cleared me, but... I understand I wasn't, like, dead center, but... Okay. I'm missing the Tiki on the part that I need him. I pressed square, man. Come on. We've already dropped like 10, 15 lives doing this, man. I need that double Tiki. One for when I, like... I'm just stupid and not paying attention. And like that. You know what? I'm just... You can actually fall forward off of this thing. I didn't even think that was possible, but I guess it makes sense. Okay, now we got the double tiki. So one is for when I'm just stupid and not paying attention, and one is for when I actually get bullshitted into being hit. My son Isaac is online. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. Jump. Okay. And he's gonna do some of that. Oh shit. So why are the hitboxes so big on the pink ones, but not the green ones? That's what I want to know. Bullshit, man. I'm jumping off. I hate when, like, the, there's, a, like, a weird delay when you press square. Like, it's odd. Might have something to do with the fact that I'm tired, too, but I don't think it does. 
because I'm not that tired. I know I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. This is where I seriously need both Tiki's. Cool. Alright. I made it look so much harder than it really is for some reason. Alright. Whew. I don't know why. I was like psyching myself out for nothing. Alright boys, we finished the game, and uh, as much as I would love to give everybody the recognition they deserve for this game, we gotta skip, we gotta skip the credits. So. Sorry about that one. Alright guys, so with that... We have got our work cut out for us. I think I'm just going to go get um, the gems that I need in reverse order. So I'm just going to go backwards. Um, so we need the pink gem. And now we have the yellow gem. So now we'll be able to get that. So if you guys remember this level, we struggled with a little bit. Because I wasn't sure if I needed to get to the yellow gem path to get the uh, pink gem, but I do. So, we'll just do this quick. Basically, the videos from here on out, until we get to the time trials, are going to be me going back and collecting the gems that we didn't get on our first playthrough that we needed, like, colored gems for. Um, I got, I'm 97% sure I got every gem that I could have gotten up until the point, like, up until this point. So, um... Now we're basically just getting the gems we couldn't get before, starting with this one, because we'll need the pink gem somewhere, I believe. We're coming up on that yellow gem path pretty soon. I think it's like right up here. Oh, shibbity bop. Yep, it's right here. Pick me up. Yep, Barino. Here it is. Alright, there's the pink gem. Maybe you could call it purple. It looks a little bit purple in that lighting. No, it's definitely pink. I don't know. When it's in the light, it looks pink. But it also looks purple when it's not in the light. So, I don't know. Looks, I would say pink probably. It's probably a pink gem. So now, if I'm not mistaken, we do have all the colored gems. Yeah, I'd call that pink. On my TV, it looks pink. I don't know about you guys. So now we've got Fumbling in the Dark. This is the, We unlocked this level, I believe, by taking that secret exit. Um, this is just another level that's in the dark. It's the same concept. But I know there are things back here that we need to grab. 
This is where, like, a bunch of boxes are. Like, if you didn't know about this, you would have never gotten seven crates. So... Okay, there was some really cool screen tearing there. That was really cool. I really hope there's not something wrong with my TV, man, because that keeps happening more and more frequently. I'm going to be mad. I just bought this TV like a year and a half ago. And it's a Samsung TV, so you would assume that it'd be pretty reliable. And it's not like I bang it up or like hit it or anything. I just use it like as much as a person would use a TV, you know what I mean? And of course, warranties just run out too a couple months ago. I believe it had a one year warranty. Gonna be pretty salty if I. Uh... Okay, I'm wasting a lot of time by stopping to see hit that spoder. Ooh, I knew that was gonna happen. Where am I, dude? Okay. All right, cool. At least we don't need to not die. Well, we will for the time. We, we will for the time trial. But that was almost really bad. Damn it again! Come on. Urubuga. All right, we got this, dude. I really jumped too far. I really did that. This might be the last level we have time for, unfortunately. Personally, quit. I actually do need to jump on that. Don't need to jump on that. I quit. I quit. I quit. I will no longer be playing this game. That is also false, but it's fine. I really am just angry. I'm angry! Oh no, okay, I almost got pounced by a spoder. Dang it. Right, we gotta hop on that one. We don't gotta hop on this one. I know for a fact we don't. I'm just garbage. We do gotta hop on that one. Oh, I am not a fan of this. Absolutely not. Absolutely not a fan! Okay, cool. Sweet. That one wasn't too bad. We did get a few stupid deaths on my part, but... 17 of 26 gems. We got 9 left. 89% complete, dude. Alright. Well... This one's a little bit shorter, but thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Crash Bandicoot. Be sure to pack a punch that like button. Be sure to subscribe. Have a phenomenal day. And next episode, we'll be doing uh, Cortex Power. Peace out.